Hello and welcome back friends. Welcome to lab 8. This lab is install and configure cinder block storage. What we are going to do is we are configuring, we are going to configure and install it on compute node. But the basic setup, initial setup is required on the controller node. So I have both the nodes available. This is my controller node. I am going to start with this controller node. All right. Let's without wasting time. Let's start. Okay. So first step, as usual, is the database creation. We need to create database Cinder with the name Cinder. Okay. So create database Cinder, and then as usual, if you have watched my previous videos, it is uh, concept is absolutely same. Right. So grant all privileges on Cinder dot star to Cinder at localhost identified by Cinder DB pass. Okay. Same way. One more reason, one more uh, user is required. You know it, and that is the global user, uh, where which is allowed to connect from any host. So grant all privileges on sender dot star to sender at percent sign. Percent sign refer to from any host. So both users created. And now what we need to do is exit from here, exit from this route because that part is done. We need to source our script where our user credentials are stored, admin open RC, and then we need to create the service credentials, right? So let's create the service credentials. Conceptually, if you have noticed, it is more or less the same concept. All right, one second. I stopped in between. That was a problem. So no problem at all. Let me do it again. Okay. OpenStack create user domain default password prompt user m cinder and the password which we are going to do going to use for the normal user is cinder pass. All right, cinder pass and cinder pass. So and the service created. So this part is done. Now what we need to do is we need to give admin role to this user cinder. So create role. Okay. One second. Add user. Add project service user. And then cinder is to be given. Yes. There is a typing mistake. I left that after user is a username and the role is missing hyphen hyphen user. So username is Cinder and role is admin. And then now we need to create the service entities here. Okay, role is added. Uh, let's create the service entities. Okay, for this the command is quite simple. So again, there's a typing mistake. No problem. I missed out this description. OpenStack block storage, volume V2. Fine. This problem. Let me start again. So sorry, so sorry. I will start all over again. To create the service entities, I'm going to use it in different lines, and then I'll use line continuation. That will save my time and energy. All right, line continuation. And the storage volume. So. OpenStack service create name Cinder V2 description OpenStack block storage volume 2 right volume V2 that's how we create the service edition done good next we'll do the same thing we, we are going to create two services one is Cinder version 2 and second is version 3 right we are going to create it two versions
volume version 3. So, we have created two one for version 2, one for version 3. So, we have created. So, one is cinder V3, one is cinder V2 and now we will create endpoints for these services. Alright, let us create the endpoints. Okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No problem. It happens with best of us. I am okay with it. So, this is how we create the endpoints. OpenStack endpoint create region, region 1, volume V2, that is version 2, public endpoint, HTTP, fantastic, all set, good one. This is created. Okay, now we do for region 2 also. Second endpoint will be internal. This is, and now we have to create six endpoint. Why? Because we have two versions, version two and version three, right? So we are going to create endpoints for all of them, and three endpoints for each. So therefore, total we are going to create six endpoints, right? So this is one. Now this uh, admin endpoint. Okay. So, public, internal and this is admin, OpenStack endpoint create region, region 1, volume v2, admin endpoint, admin endpoint. So, all the three endpoints created for version 2. Now, we will do the same for version 3, again three endpoints for version 2, version 3 sorry. So, let us create three endpoint, so, OpenStack endpoint create region, region 1, volume version 3, right, public endpoint done and then we will create internal and uh, admin also, same way exactly. OpenStack endpoint create region, region 1, volume version 3, internal, right and the last one is admin endpoint for version 3 API. So, three endpoints for version 2, three endpoint for version 3, total six endpoints created and now what we need to do is install some packages sudo su hyphen because that is what we require. Now, we need to just install the packages and configure the configuration file fine. So, it will take very less time quite fast already fast creating the database once this is done we are going to add it the file cinder.con file under cinder folder. So, let us do that and obviously there we have setting database settings we have transport URL we have keystone auth token right mem cache setting same setting IP address setting. So, next step is edit the file and here we have uh, all the th details this file is quite simple good auth strategy keystone the data is already there uh, uh, you know root wrap configuration right ice as a helper tgat admin fantastic database setting is there so good let's make changes into this so, nothing to panic we what we do is we go to this line comment this line out and create our own line alright we create our own custom database setting so this is what we have cinder database so this is the connection for mysql right connection mysql plus py mysql cinder cinder db pass controller cinder you know the syntax i hope this is the database service provider, this is the library, this is the username, this is the password, this is the host name, uh, this is the host name and this one is the database name. 
all right under default we need to take this details like transport URL and all these settings so let me just um, do to save time I'll do copy paste because I already have entered I have these details with me so let me take to this and I'll remove the duplicate lines okay so here we are I started from here I'll remove the duplicate line so keystone auth strategy keystone you already have it yes so I'm removing it DD keystone auth token keystone auth token do we have it here no so let's keep it and then URL okay auth URL fine memcache D yes password project domain ID user domain ID project name service username sender sender password my IP uh, my IP is the IP of this controller so it is fine it is 11 only right and Oslo concurrency and finally the database let's take a look at this now what other things are there okay so we just take a look at other settings volume group volume name template volume group cinder volumes verbose author strategy keystone trace path lock path lock path is given here also right lock path is given where lips in the temp where lips in the temp and what is given here where lip yeah let's remove this line volume directory and here Oh, that was for uh, that lock was what default that was default fine lock path volume directory enable backends yes transport URL keystone auth yes uh, database connection settings Oslo concurrency my IP password I'm just double checking if I missed something or I have uh, any other setting fantastic all is good all is good all is good 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 so save good now what we can do is we can populate the database that is sync the database so this will sync the database yes information migrating good working fantastic all is good and now we need to specify the last setting in the NOAA configuration file that is NOAA.conf we need to specify we need to tell NOAA that this is what we need to use so let's configure NOAA and go to the cinder cinder section correct here we are and here we need to just need to tell the region name where the region name region 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 endpoint template OS region name correct this is the line we need to make an entry so what we will do is it should be region 1 got it so region 1 entered good one that's all for this now we are just left to restart the services service no API restart okay and then service cinder scheduler restart because here we have two services running this is we are working on controller mind it our uh, real volume service will resign on compute we have yet to work on the compute node so cinder scheduler restarting and then finally apache to restart and let's enable them enable these services system ctl enable no ipi already enabled cinder scheduler is to be enabled okay and apache 2 is already enabled so cinder scheduler is the only service which is running on this this is the required on this node controller node let's go and work on the compute node now here we are on the compute node this is our compute node 
up and running let's start so for on compute node again we need to install some software su sudo su hyphen and we need to install this lvm thin provisioning and tools okay lvm lvm2 and thin provisioning tools we need to install these softwares yes come on do it fast very fast and if you recollect we have two additional disk on this let me show you this is my compute i am i'll just showing you that we have two additional disk created on this for this purpose disk 2 and disk 3 if you recollect my previous session uh, that i explained on first session itself so now we have already done this installation of the packages now what we do is we create pv create physical volume create out of the two disk which we have added all right so let's create physical volume successfully created and now we need to create a logical volume that is volume group out of the two physical volumes so vg create sender volumes dev sdb dev sdc right so successfully created volume group created now we need to edit the file to filter the devices so vim slash etc slash lvm slash lvm dot conf okay and we need to check the devices we need to filter the devices devices and we need to look at the filter so here we need to see the filter somewhere we have the filter also and we are going to use the filter do we see that here we have filter yes 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 this is what I was talking about filter filter if any existing filter is there we can change that but if it not we are going to add that no problem so here uh, filter all filters are given but not mentioned right fantastic so we are going to add our own filter here right so o enter and we will add our filter our filter is this that is we want this device sdb and sdc to be detected and uh, you know ignore all other right so add device sdb add device sdc right and ignore other devices that's how the criteria works so accept all devices this is how we are going to use it accept every block device so we want to accept sdb and sdc only for this so this is how the filter works so we have done it good let's do the alignment also filter so the filter is added fine that was the only setting required in this line we don't need to make any changes now we install the cinder volume package the main package which will work as a block device for our system okay and then we need to configure this and tell that uh, because this is going to be the main file etc cinder cinder dot conf on compute node with reference to the main block uh, with reference to the uh, you know controller node so we are going to specify all the details in main configuration file here etc cinder cinder dot com remember we are working on a compute node and i told you on the first lab itself uh, first session itself that i am going to use my compute node only as block storage so here i am working on this i am configuring the file now and this is the file where we have to work so same thing i am going to use okay <coughs> so let me just do a copy paste from my earlier settings that will just save my time because what you, you are going to do I am sure about it is that you know you are going to do read it and do a copy paste also so let's go and check one by one that this is a default section okay under default we have these 
etc sender ice cage helper volume target all right lock path volume directory enable backends a database and this is the database we have already specified this right so under default section only we need this so let's uh, copy paste the database part these two lines to dd and let's take these line to the bottom p and remove these two lines which are already there so database connection this is the database part now default coming back to the transport url is fine auth strategy is keystone which already given there so we can remove this one already given my ip and this is the ip address of my compute node here it is 31 fine enable backends lvm it, this is already mentioned so we can remove this line also glance api servers that is server name so that is what is required in the default section right so my ip do we have my ip here no so that's good now we have the keystone auth token section keystone auth text session is more or less same everywhere in every system we have used in the same thing and this is our lvm section lvm logical volume driver right volume group iSCSI protocol and this is oslo concurrency log path and the database so these are the settings which we require on in this file and this is our compute node is also almost ready let's start the tgt service and the cinder volume service on the system okay and then cinder volume service and we need to enable this system ctl enable cinder volume and system ctl enable tgt okay that's it so this part is also complete now we can uh, take a look at the browser and see our settings you know see our volume uh, manager block storage under this Now what we have done is if let's revise and let's recollect what we have done. We have configured uh, cinder block storage on controller main configuration and the main block storage is configured on the on the compute node. So as I said in my first session that we will be using four nodes controller will be main controller and compute node will have hypervisor plus block storage both and for that purpose we added two disk on that um, compute node and we configure that uh, cinder volume on this so if you look at all services on compute node we have our service running uh, cinder volume and controller we have a cinder scheduler is running the further details and the discussion will happen in the uh, theory lecture which i will have definitely after this okay uh, right now we are just setting up our infrastructure okay let's look at this images images part is already done let's this is the volume part this is what the new section is right because of the uh, this part that we created let can let's create a volume okay so we are just trying to create the volume right so volume name is let's say uh, m uh, let's create m1 small and description is small volume for zero s this is just my name given description so no empty uh, yes it is empty volume volume type no volume type size is let's create 2 gb volume okay 2 gb volume availability zone nova oh, and uh, no volume group create volume 
Now, if it is successfully created, that means our block storage is configured successfully. If there is any error, no need to panic. We'll troubleshoot because we have to look at the logs and we will work on the logs and fix the problem. But right now, configuration part is done. Troubleshooting can be taken care of later on, right? It is just a try. If it works well, if it doesn't work, nothing to panic. I've been, I have a habit of troubleshooting now. So it is creating. Let's look at the status of the command line. So on the command line, you can issue uh, volume, you know, OpenStack volume list, and you see the status creating, right? So you can click on it once again, and if you try the same command again, it is still creating. and the status will change once it is done and if it's not able to create it will throw error still creating so it is still creating now uh, since it is creating so once it is throw some error or something uh, I'll uh, you know uh, troubleshoot and uh, let you know in the next session but it I hope it will work to uh, you know without any problem and I'll check the logs also but as far as uh, you know sender volume is concerned sender services are concerned that's configured and installed successfully all right that's all for this session thank you very much for watching bye bye